getting ribs with the barbecue. You know what I'm saying? Like it's real in the streets, son. Word up. You know, I gotta come up with the, the wacky intro all day, you know what I'm saying? You know how we do, you know? We in a new place, in a new spot, new set. You know what I mean? I'm here on the bread. <sighs> you don't see it? There it is. I think it's better. Yeah. It actually gives me, you know, a nice little position when I show the show that. Ooh, I'm looking kind of cow off center. I guess it's all right. I don't know. Anyways, um, how are y'all doing out there? This is B fam. <laughs> What's good, y'all? What's popping? You know what I'm saying? It's different. I can hear the echoes in the room. It's like this is B fam, B fam, B fam. You're stupid. Like, you stupid, stupid, stupid. It's silly. <laughs> What's good? Um, we are filming in the new spot. Um, for those of you that have followed me on A Connection TV and Instagram and Facebook um, and Twitter, all of which are A Connection TV, you guys knew that I was moving and I am finally moved. Uh, I'm in my new spot and it is nice. I am out of the ghetto. If you saw the moving on up video. Like the Jeffersons, moving on up to the west side. Yeah. Actually, it is east side because I'm further out on Long Island. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, it's nice. It's very nice. I'm able to park right outside my building. I have so many things that are down the block. Boston Market is around the corner. A, a nice buffet is around the corner. Oh yeah, I saw, um, I saw the buffet. There are grocery stores around here. Supermarket right down the block. Go there in my 24 hour veterinarian. Oh, right. Yes. That's how the I, train station is a walk away. I saw an optical over there too. There's a lot. The, and I finally right found a, a, a barber shop, uh, a black owned barber shop. Is it official tissue? Yeah, I think so. It's called Clippers with a K, so. Oh. They they must know how to clip your hair. I guess. Yeah. They're I, I mean, not to sound any old way, but I've been looking for a black barbershop that could do my hair. You know, the, shout out to the Cubanos um, or the Latinos, whatever you want to call them. But <laughs> they do good hair too. I have yet to find any other. Yeah. Um, what? You know, group of individuals that can really do my kind of hair. So. Hopefully Clippers with a K is good. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot has happened um, in August. We are in September now and yeah, things are turning up. Everybody's like all smiles and having a good time. Like everything is great. Like Yes. You know, uh, it's yeah. really it's been it's been an adventure. It's been a complete adventure. And I want Mike to talk and you know a lot of you guys have been trying to figure out what's going on with us as B fam and Mike has been MIA for so long maybe it's time for him to start talking 
Oh, man. He will divulge what he wants to divulge. There are some things that he feels that he should not talk about because we are public figures. Mind you, let me, let me, before you start, this, I swear, you're like far. You see all that space on your side of the thing? You want me close, Daddy? No, far, far. Like, yeah. So you just want me further? Now sit down. I thought we had a connection. You're stupid. Better. Oh my God, that's so much better. It's I don't like, like it. The frame is centered. The picture behind like us it. is centered. You're I don't silly. Like it. Mm -mm. <laughs> you know how much this video, how much like we do videos, right? Okay. And we're in the public. We we publicize our lives, mm -hmm. right? I didn't realize how much we did to the point where people actually watch and listen and poke at and investigate, you know? And what I mean by that is, I uploaded an infernal video broadcasting my crush. Um, actually, he wasn't my original crush, but he ended up being my uh, resort infernal boo, if you will. And now, everybody who watches knows, and I feel weird about it. Because people are hitting me up on Facebook like, hey, how is such and such? Hey, how is such and such? Oh, you're in Baltimore to go see such and such. And I just don't know how to take it. I really don't. It's weird. It doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel normal. And so, you know, uh, a friend of mine was explaining how he felt about a particular video that I had uploaded. And there were a lot of dramatics that happened because I uploaded that particular video. And with him telling me about his issues that he had with a particular video and then me going through my issues that I have with publicly announcing so much, I understand why people don't say certain things out in public because you know there are some things that people want to know or people want you to know and then there are some things that people don't want you to know. And I know it sounds like I'm rambling, but he knows what I'm talking about, which is the reason why he doesn't want to talk about what it is that he's doing or going through. So I kind of like get it. And that's why I just said what I said, just so you wouldn't feel obligated to speak about what you don't want to talk about. <laughs> so it's like, because once you, you, know, once you open it, I know. And that's the thing. That's the thing. And that's how I felt about when I uploaded the other video. I'm like, we keep it real on a connection TV and it's uh, it's like but anyways to not even go there cuz you know I'm sure that they are watching but you I, know what just tonight we just say fuck it I don't have to get too detailed but but you do and you speak you know what I'm saying without knowing when to stop I, and I've already announced I to um, sure. I promise I'm, I, I, I mean if you want to talk about it you can I pinky, I pinky toast promise I, if you want to talk about it, you can. It's your life. But at the same time, I've already announced who I would love to fall in love with. And that's just that. The first time I've ever done that, ever. And I've been doing A Connection TV for five years. So hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. If it does, I will be the happiest man on earth. If it doesn't, then it just doesn't. And hopefully I will find somebody that can make it work with me. But... I will let Mike talk now because I've been rambling. Okay. Brother. Um, are you sure? I don't have to give detail though. I could keep it I could keep it sweet. Because you know they are watching. I could keep sweet cakes conversation though, you know. But you know they are watching. I'm just saying, but go ahead. Now I don't know what I'm gonna say. I'm just saying. <laughs> Listen, all I gotta say. All I gotta say is um, I'm good, I'm chilling, I'm working, I'm breathing, I'm living, you know what I'm saying? Love, live, life, proceed, progress, you know what I mean? All day. Hurt your titties, hurt your titties. We did that at the same time, you know bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, that was spirit, spirit of the titties. Um, now nah, everything's been good. Um, you know, of course, the last video, y'all yeah, know my cousin passed and everything, and you know, I've just been healing. I've been doing better, you know, I've been doing good, trying to get past that, move forward. Um, 
I had an ill dream about him too. That's that's a long story by itself. I don't know what it meant. I felt like he was connected to me by, in my dreams or something. You know, it's, it was ill. But anyway, um, but you know, we tend to dwell on things that we feel can never change. And you know, like I say once again, the only thing that's constant in this world is change. Sometimes it's it it just takes you just to change. You know. Your environment, change your ways, change your habits, change for to allow change to change you or to change where you, you know, it just takes that one little change. You know what I'm saying? It could be a dorky ass person or whatever that's all scruffed up, this, that, don't take care of himself. It just takes one haircut for him to look fresh and everybody to just pay attention to him. You know, change is change. You know what I'm saying? You gotta attract change. You know? Um, everything's been good. Um, I still connect, you know what I'm saying, a little bit here with uh, with my ex, you know what I mean? Um, I still got like my things there and stuff. So we've been connecting on some, you know, cool stuff. Um, you know, the love is still there, you know. Um, the love or the respect? Both. Okay. Both. With a T-H, you know what I'm saying, both. I'm practicing. Um, and you know how sometimes in life, you know, you just, you just, I don't know, you just cruise around and you just like, boo, like, what is this? Like, this is pretty, this is gorgeous right here. Like, I like this beach, you know? It's, you just cruise into just, you know, things that's always been there, but you just never really like spotted or taken a look at it. So you just went with the- moment. And it gives you a good fresh, uh, a breath of fresh air. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure, so you decide sure. to breathe that. Yeah, um, I don't know. This, you know, there's a, a a cool a cool girl. You know what I'm saying? That I know. She's cool, and um, we've been we've been vibing and stuff. She's she's cool. You know, um, <laughs> see, we've been vibing. You know, I mean, <laughs> you know what? You know what? It's like, it's hard, right? It's hard, and the reason why I just cut him off, and I'm so sorry, but it's like, I know what he's going through. Like, it's so hard. For me, as the person that I am, I talk. I speak my life into existence. You know what I'm saying? And we aren't bloggers that talk about entertainment too much. We don't talk about... We don't talk about things that are irrelevant to our lives. Or fake shit. We, we talk about our lives. So it's like, I get, I get why he's trickling into it without <laughs> even trying to trickle into it because that's what we do on BFAM. We block up our, our lives and experiences and things that we go through and things that we see people go through. Yeah, so it's like, that's why you guys have been hounding us about BFAM and... <laughs> That's what it is. So continue. <laughs> yeah, and uh, she's 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 cool. Very interesting person. We've been you know connecting, chilling. She's she's cool. You know, taking it slow. You know what I mean? Taking it slow. You know, as of y'all know, I came from a four year you know relationship and stuff. And um, I like in the place that I'm at, especially you know I moved into my own spot. So I've come a little more to my senses and certain things that I would do often, you know, in my spare time, I don't. I actually focus a, a little more time and take care of my body now, you know, getting my little workout, you know, thingy and all that. And, you know, just, just chilling, you know, just chilling. I wrote like four songs in my crib in one day, you know, and I don't know. I've just been a lot, you know, I guess what, what, um, productive, proactive or something or, you know, I've been chilling and I just, I don't know. Everybody comes to me in my job like, yo, you got this glow. Oh my God, you're scared. Ah, you know, and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, I don't know what it is, you know? I don't know. I guess, I guess that's, that's the type of look you have when you, you're happy, you're comfortable, you're chilling, you know? Like I said, I've, I've just been chilling, you know? Oh yeah, shout out to uh to Barbie, you know what I'm saying, all day. You know what I mean? She watches our show, you know what I'm saying? Shows us love and all that. Shout out to Barbie hey, day. all day. Hey. Um Damian Crawford, shout out, 
You know what I'm saying? He just finished his tour. You know, shout out to you. All Yo, day. shout out to Damien's most deaf. Ah. Damien, you were doing it big when these, every single photo See, that you take is amazing. Flawless, like whoever styles you, you are flawed to the list. Every single shot you're in is amazing. Amazing. Is love it. Hot. I love it. Hot. You gotta follow uh Damien Crawford's Instagram. I'm not sure if it is Damien Crawford or not, but no, it's Damien Crawford. Is it? Follow his Instagram. His pictures are gorgeous. It's so real. Shout out to Barbie once again. Shout out to and this we're gonna do a couple I gotta do a couple shout outs, you know, because these people have been so real and authentic in my life and have allowed me to grow and explore realms that I've never explored before. Uh, I've had such an amazing time with these particular individuals and I just love you guys to pieces. And so I want to give shout outs to Devin Norwood. Brother, you are amazing. I want to give a shout out to Blue-Eyed Simba. Blue -eyed you already Simba. know. What's you good? already know I love you so What's much. Good, boy? I want to give a shout What's out to good? Kevin Simmons of The Scorpion Show. Brother, you already know what it is. You yes. are a foreign B fam of both of us, so I really all do day. love you all day, every day. I want to give a shout out to Lionel from 3LW TV. Mm -hmm. You are a true inspiration and a godsend. I want to give a shout out to definitely Dwayne. You know what I'm saying, brother, Dwayne. brother, little Wayne, Dwayne, Dread, Dreddy, Dreddy. Um, you you, forever, you, you know keep me moving definitely. and. Shit. And what? You keep me moving in so many directions. Straight, curvy, circle, triangle, square, all of that. And um, the fact that you are so younger than I am. You trying to run, you gotta stop. The fact that you are so young is stupid. You're stupid. Why are you doing this to me right now? Oh. The fact that you are so younger than I am and I can still learn so much from you and I am still learning so much from you and just from a personal and professional standpoint um, you constantly give me advice and you are a true supporter I want to give a shout out to Harold 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 you came into my life and you can chime in with the shout outs you came into my life at a point where um, someone left my life. You came into my life at a point where I needed guidance. I needed someone of the same age group. I needed someone who was like me in so many ways and then different. And in so many ways, you came at a point in my life where I really needed someone. And you are like my heart of all hearts. So, so true and so real and not judgmental. And, and what I do like about you, Harold, is that if you do have a problem, you know how to speak it into existence to resolve the issue. And I really do appreciate you without a shadow of a doubt. I want to give a shout. Who give a shout out to? I want to. I, I, well, me, I just. I want to give a, I want to give a shout out to everybody that's just supported us who's been there since day one since we started this you know what I mean just shout out for all the people who's hit me you know what I'm saying I'm not too good with names and stuff I know specific individuals you know cat women everybody you know what I'm saying thank y'all so much for loving us the way you do thank you for you know um, you know the the, the comments on, you know, sorry for your loss and giving me advice and, you know, I took that, I absorbed it and I feel like we we all have a deeper connection, we all can adopt that similar connection and I'm glad that you guys vibe and, I mean, it's, it's y'all that keeps this show, like, alive, you make us want to do more, you know what I'm saying, and we feel like we touch a lot of your lives and guide you to a direction or where you probably may have felt that you can never, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not even making sense right now, I'm tongue-tied, but like, provide you with enough options and opportunities of things that you haven't had implanted in your mind. 
I want to get makes sense. And, and yeah, everything you, you know? just said is rocking to death because you guys definitely you're the reason why we're making this beat fam now. Yeah. Um, but I, I cannot forget Jamar eighty four. Um, you know, I, I finally met you in Inferno DR, and mm -hmm. you are such an amazing light when the rest of the world and the rest of the ignorance around me are just so dark. You are that light that, that you know, leads us in any direction that we need to yeah. to be walking in. And, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You are just an amazing person to know. I want to give a shout out to Tony. Tony, brother, if you're watching this video, uh, shout out to Marty, Courtney, and Thaddeus. Okay. Um, but Tony, if you are watching this video, 831 will forever be embedded into my heart, into my brain into my chemistry, into my soul, because that is the day that I met you. And that is the day that signified a lot for me as a man and as, as a man that is continuing, as a man that is growing. Um, and so we spoke about 831, August 31, 2012. Harold, you know what that day is. And I just, I just had to put that into the air because of 831. I am a better person. Because of 831, I am more open. Because of 831, I am evolved. Because of 831, I am a new. So, Inferno DR definitely brought some blessings to my life. And uh, Tony, you are a part of that. So thank you so much. Shout outs. Well, I haven't met you, Tony, yet. <laughs> I haven't met you yet, but, you know what I'm saying, you're making my brother happy, so, you know what I'm saying, shout out to Tony, you know, he's a tough guy, hey, hey, tough guy, hey, Tony. And even if, and you even know? if, and, and here, I, like, and even if things don't work out, I am still, still loving 831. Like, still. 831 means that much to me. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, shout out to uh, Annabelle, you know what I'm saying, who hit me hey. with the crazy boxer. I'm sorry, baby, I gotta put you on blast. I love you too, mommy, for real. Like, oh man, I gotta put this. Hopefully, my phone won't die when I hit when I put this through, but you know what I'm saying. I don't remember if I even responded, I don't know, but you know what I'm saying. I'm just acknowledging you on this video right now, and I just have to just show like how real it is and I appreciate it because I was actually feeling a certain way that day and I heard that message and I was just like yo Jiminika hit me up too I didn't yeah know. shout out to Jiminika I'm not going to box it y'all so if yeah. you want to box me box me um, through I think it's A Connection TV but I'm back on Boxer alright here we go So shout out to Annabelle. Shout out to Annabelle. Oh, right, right, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a Word. <laughs> what was that? Word. She said, she said, oh my God. <laughs> it's two in the morning. Yeah. And this guy want me to come out. <laughs> what is going on? Nah, because, about? because what happens is <laughs> and her no, you know, you know how it is because it's it's it goes balls, it, <laughs> it goes balls. Right. It go it all boils down to to 
where, you know, it's, it's the same concept. Like, if you start a job, you got all these other jobs that hit you up. You know what I mean? Checking you. Meanwhile, you applied for them just months ago. Now they want to call. Like, bitch, you tried it. You know what I'm saying? So then, you know, you meet a new person. You kind of chilling with that person. Like, yo, I wanna, I'm feeling this. All of a sudden, everybody want to just come out the woods and the trees and the river. Right. And just want to like, hey. Right, and the swamps. And then to top it off, you're engaged. You know what I'm saying? Thinking that they have, you know, people be trying it sometimes. So, you know, that was that was just a little bit of uh, part. You know what I'm saying? But um, shout out to Annabelle. I, I love you so much. <laughs> You are so cool. Like we've had cool Definitely. conversations. And Definitely. I would love to go to Chicago. I'm we, should, we, should, we should go out there. It's kind of like the sun of New York. You know. Somebody was telling me that we should have an A Nation TV meet and greet. And I'm like, uh, that sounds hot in theory, but I don't think that we're that huge to be having an A Connection meet and greet. I know a lot of the people that, what, huh? That wouldn't be bad. It would be hot. And I know a lot of people do That's watch cool. us, but how many people would actually show up? Like, I don't know. I think it would have to be in a place where if nobody shows up, we still gonna have a banging ass time. You know what I'm saying? Go to yeah. all the clubs and stuff. But that'd be, that's kind of cool. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Have a few bodyguards with tasers. And, yeah. You silly. You know what I'm saying? Be like, hey, are you with oh. Can't go that far. <laughs> you know you are silly. Sit back. How do you feel about trust? Trust. What does what does what does trust mean to you? What what does trust mean to Mike? And how can somebody break your trust? That's too many questions in one. Mm, I'm sorry. That's a that's a part Give it two. All that's a to part me. two. Give it video. all all to me. Nah, it's it's like I don't know. I feel I feel like just the word is just overrated a little bit. You know. I feel oh, really? a little bit, you know, because you have people that use the word the wrong way. I trust you, I this, I that. I feel like connection does it to me, you know? Like, that's whatever you, which, what do you call it? Kiki? Kiki? Connect? Something? I don't know. You know what Kiki. I'm saying? Kiki? I'm confused. Ah, uh, nothing. Okay. Anyway, moving no, on. Right, um, I don't know, because I've, I've heard so many people, you know, in my life say that and. I don't know, you just can't say it, you know, you just gotta, you're able to say it, but it has to be with somebody that you really feel that you can trust, you know, because the words is, is deep that way, you know what I'm saying? Then anybody be like, oh, nah, nah, it's cool, I trust you, you know, I'm like, no, you don't, you know, it's like, I don't know, it's more of a feeling, you know, for me, you know, and then it's like when somebody crosses that trust, because when you trust somebody, you know, you've embedded like how can I say? It's it's like when you tr when you say you trust somebody, you already put the ring on the finger on the on the friendship on the relationship. You know what I mean? Like I trust you. I trust you enough to let you know enough about this about me. You know, which means I trust. Um, I'm I'm putting so much out there that you could probably easily just break my heart with all the stuff you know. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's, it's deep, it's real deep. But then it's like when you cr when you cross that, it's like, it's crazy. You don't even know what to feel, you know what I'm saying? You just feel like your heart just, like you just coughed and your heart just laid up on the floor, you know what I'm saying? Trust to me, inflated, like, trust to me, and I totally get everything that you just, you know, s stated. Did but, you? Yes. Trust to me, does mean that I'm giving you a ring, but it can be on any finger because there's certain there's different levels of trust. Right. I think. Right. I think that there's different levels of trust. Yes, like there is. I, I can trust Mike to leave the keys to my house to Mike and know that he'll watch my house. I'm not gonna do that with somebody else. Right. With, you know, with another Joe Schmo. You know? Right. I can trust that I can leave $500 on a dresser and might be in the room and I come back to the room and the $500 are still there Right, you know, that's different trust some certain certain individuals trust in each other enough to have unprotected sex 
with that person and, and feel like nothing's going to happen to them. That's a certain level of trust, you know? Yeah. And just because I do A doesn't mean that I will do B or C. So there's different levels of trust. For right. me, I feel that I break it up. I break up the trust based on the type of relationship that it is. If you're an acquaintance, if you're a friend, if you're family, or if you're a love, lover, or a boyfriend or a girlfriend, those, there are four levels of trust for me, I feel. If I call you my friend, then I should be able to do everything that I said I could do with Mike. Leave money on a dresser, give you my keys to my apartment, all of that stuff. I feel that that's a friend level. That's deep. Sexual healing and, and unprotected sex when it comes to your boyfriend or girlfriend. If I can do that with you, then God bless us because I'm giving you my life. I'm putting my life in your hands by having unprotected sex with you. So that's a huge trust. You know what I'm saying? So there's certain levels of trust. Yes. I feel that once you break trust, it's very hard for me to get over it. It's very hard for me to deal with and it's very hard for me to trust you again. You know, and that's how I am. You know, I don't trust a lot of gay men. I don't. I don't trust a lot of gay men. And the reason why I'm putting that out into the air is because ever since I've been talking to certain individuals, people have been coming out of the swamps and the woodworks and displaying emotions that I would normally never see had it not been for the person that I'm trying to entertain. And so I get very protective and very uh, leery of certain individuals when they come walking around. And am I wrong for that? that? I think that's why I brought this trusting thing up. Am I wrong for that? Should I care about it? Should I, you know, give it any energy? Should I leave it alone? How would you guys feel about that? For me, if you're a member of the gay community, you kind of know where I'm going with this. You know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows that you're trying to connect with somebody that everybody knows. And so there are a lot of variables that can go into that equation to have the, res the answer of the equation be completely different than what it was supposed to start out with. If I just made sense, you, you could follow what the fuck that's, I'm saying. That's a lot of people. Though. Um, it is. And, and it happens that way. And I'm sure it happens in the straight world where, you know, Marissa knows Clarice who knows Stephanie and you're dating Stephanie and Marissa is trying to find out from Clarice how Mike really is in bed and then Clarissa tells Stephanie and then Stephanie tells, you know, I, that whole triangle or square effect. You, you know, you know what I do? Like, I've always been like this. Like, I don't, like y'all see me bug out and stuff. Y'all get a piece of me, the fun side of me and stuff. But to be honest, like, I don't really, open myself to everybody. Like, I just keep myself as a particular, you know, a certain individual, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't let nobody, a lot of people know my experiences and all that stuff. I'm not like that. So it's like, I could be in a job. You know how you be in a job, you start a new job, you're the new fish, you know what I'm saying, in the, in the tank, you know, swimming, just minding your business and shit, just eating the little pebbles, you know what I'm saying, I was just throwing in the, you know, whatever. And, you meet another fish, you know, and y'all chilling, y'all blowing bubbles, talking, have a convo, whatever. And next thing, you're not friends with that person no more. And they cool with everybody else in the job. So then y'all went through something. Now they know your business, so you're just getting spread all over the stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just rolls like that. So, you know, I remember I told somebody one thing or something, like, I had a cut or something or whatever. The whole, the whole... You know what I'm saying? Wherever I was at, knew, knew that. You know what I'm saying? And I've always been turned off about that. I've always been to myself and, you know, just certain things are meant to be said. And, you know, you got your close friends, you know, you got your circle. I Me, mean, I, you, got, I got my own circle, you know. This, this, I love this dude right here. You know what I'm saying? You crazy. We have a couple of circles. We Yeah. And it, it expands. And, it, and these are people that... You know, you have people that don't even have to try that hard to get your friendship. You know what I'm saying? Or to, they don't have to try that hard. It's like, we know what we like. We know the type of individuals we chill with. You know what I'm saying? That we roll with. And they just... It was like... Everybody gets along. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's, it's... I don't know. For the, okay. It's kind of like... It, you know how I see it? I see it like video games. <laughs> 
You ever get, who, for those of y'all who know about the video games, right? Or you play any sort of game, whatever. You ever get a fresh game, you're playing it, but there's just certain things you need to unlock. Or you have un you need to unlock okay. characters, but you have to go through the whole stage right. or tournament or right. whatever it is. All of a sudden, you get a new character added on. It feels like that. Like it's just video game status. Like it's just Silly. Like, unlocking unlocking characters in your journey. You know what I'm saying? Silly. Next thing we chilling and shit. Ah, we in the jungle. We got some kid named Mabu. You know You're what I'm silly. saying? Like chilling. You're silly. Chilling with us with a spear. Like yo, what? Like B fam all day. Ugh. You're <laughs> silly. <laughs> It's silly. I think it is that way. I I love and I was telling I was telling Harold this and I was telling T this and I was just like It's crazy. I love connecting with people. That's where I'm at in life. I love making connections with people and I love, you know, riding for the people that I make connections with. That's how I am as a human being. And it's like I feel that once that trust is broken or once you break that adopted connection it's kind of hard for me to want to connect with you again and right. it, it just it, it hurts and it saddens me that you would be so wrapped up in yourself to not even rationalize the situation at all to have the end result be us severing our adopted connection and it's funny because my original script adopted connection speaks on similar events that occurred in my life and it's just like mm. I would love, I would love to understand why certain people operate the way that they do. I just, I don't get it. Especially when, you know, the people around you are respectful, strong, and willing to love you the way that they said that they would. So it's like, why, why do someone wrong for sake of pride or, um, not knowing how to handle the situation. It just doesn't make sense to me. And I'm I'm a firm believer of forgiving and yes. of forgiving. Yes. Never forgetting, but of forgiving. Yes. But it's it's so hard because once you play with my heart, it's like I really don't have time. It's like I, I really don't have time. But I've become a bigger person thanks to uh certain individuals, uh, and you know who you are. Uh, I've become extremely bigger in a sense to where I can forgive but never forget and move on um, as a mature adult should. And so, although it's hard for me to trust people, especially in the gay community, I'm trying to balance that out. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, to put everything that I've learned to the test and really trust individuals or give people the benefit of the doubt before I prejudge them. I think I think you just gotta see that shit on some, some paparazzi status. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Because you know In what way? What do you mean? Celebrities they really don't have any privacy like that. You know what I'm saying? They don't and that's worse. Think about it. So you're saying that I should be okay with at least at least to try to at least try. You don't have to be Try to do what way. though? What am I trying to do? Just try to try to look past it and just see it for what it is. You know what I mean? Oh, I see it for what it is. I definitely do. I see it for what it is. Mm -hmm. But I don't have time to be dealing with that kind of energy. So for it me can only get worse, that's what I'm saying. For me, I'm just like I'd rather not place myself around that type of energy. Well, you know true, what I'm saying? True. And that's how well, I am. But cut the chains, chains off, umbilical cord off. When it's involving people that are constantly around or people that you're trying to get to know, it can put a strain on any situation. I.e. me trying to talk to someone that I'm interested in. If I don't like someone that they know, that we both know, then that can put a strain on me trying to get to know, you know, the one that I'm talking to. So it's just like... I don't know. I just don't like funny individuals and I just don't like funny situations and I just I just can't stand it. And so for me it's like dude or a female or whoever, if you have a problem, speak on it. If 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 you feel wronged in any way, speak on it. I mean, at the end of the day, I can't I can't feel uh that there's a problem with however it is that you feel. 
You know what I'm saying? Just like you can't feel like it's a problem for how I feel. You know, because uh, feelings are the truth to the person that's feeling it. Okay, preach. All right. So, um, <laughs> so at the end of the day, I feel that if any if any friendship was ever a true friendship, that things will work out no matter what. And if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If me and T work out, we do. If we don't, we don't. I mean, life moves on. You know what I'm saying? Life progresses in a way that you wouldn't even expect it to. But all I do know is that I'm glad that 831 happened. You know what I'm saying? Right. Regardless of whether or not I'm trusting individuals or not, I'm glad that 831 happened. So I feel you. I mean... There's situations I've been in, even relationships, and I don't, I don't regret not either one of them. You know what I'm saying? Cause it helped, it helped me grow. I went through it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't regret it because I wouldn't be who I am and how, you know, um, I don't know. Those rela those experiences that I had, they just disciplined me into a person. So I know how close to, you know have the person and how, how far back to have them, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. and it took that one relationship that I had where I lost myself, you know? Um, but it's it's crazy the way everything just fell, you know, piece by piece, you know what I mean? Then I met Wes, you know, and then I started, we started doing the eight connection, adopted connection scene, and it was, it was crazy because just the whole scene it's just been therapeutic for me, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just, I, I thank A Connection TV, you know, for bringing me back, you know what I'm saying, to, to my roots, like who I really am. And, you know, you guys commenting on what I said and you just be like, oh yeah, you know, are you real or this? Yo, I had somebody that hit me up, excuse me if I don't remember the name. He said, he said one of my lines, <laughs> One of my lines that I said um, on one of my songs. Word. Huh? Word. 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 And because of those lines, he's trying to pursue, you know, because from what I said, he... He's, he discovered you through uh, B-Fan? No, yeah, he's a B-Fan, you know. Yeah, definitely, he's a fan of B-Fan, A Connection TV. But right. he's also, I guess, you know, he's linked to my, my music page as well. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. And... He, he wrote down the line and he said because of this this is I do this because of you and uh, it was deep wow word wow it's, it's how great. does that make you feel if it, it feels good and it's just like you know you need to hear things like that you know just some some of those things just give you like a smack to the face or just a snap of a finger just to take you off that that hypnotism you know what I'm saying of life, you know, and just wake you up, like yo, you're a you are a powerful person, you know what I'm saying? You might go through shit, but you have an impact on your audience, the people that's around you. You know, you create an impact in people's hearts. You know, you're loved by many on the low. You know what I'm saying? And we sitting here like awesome. Uh. Uh, yeah, of course, we could be like that because we human beings, you know what I'm saying? We human beings, but... <laughs> uh, I was thinking, you tried it earlier in the video. You tried it. You tried it. We keep saying gutter. I said, no, but you tried it. At the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, we do keep it real, and I'm... You know I, why? Because I feel uncomfortable because I want to say something, and I can't say it, and then the fact that I... Wait, I'm confused. Okay, me not saying it, I'm like, damn, but we keep it gutter. But then I know why I'm not saying it, but if I don't say it, I'm going to feel that shit. It's coming out. Fuck it. I don't care. I'm just saying, he it, tried it. It is and what it is. I, I'm, not, I'm not a proponent of causing rifts. I really don't. I don't have time for that. Like, I really don't. I really don't. I'm just a good person at the end of the day. And I defend who's ever in my circle, and I will die for who's ever in my circle. That's and that's just how it is, and that's it. That's the type of person that I am. If you have me as a friend, then you have a real friend. And if you decide to lose me as a friend, then that was the dumbest <laughs> shit that you could ever do. Because I am here to the end, uh, damn it. 
And that's just how it is. That's true. And you know, my experience knowing Wes, like he he really is. He really, you know, is is deep. We went through it. We've cried, you know what I'm saying? We we've gone through it. Him and I have gone through a lot. What? <laughs> A lot. Like this ain't, we had this connection before. Well, it was different because it was more of a work thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because I got casted into the show and everything. And then Flash just started dropping out of the, the batch. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And, and then, it's funny because it really it just, was. It was a cast of 10. It was 10 of us. Word. And it was, it really that was a word. work. It really was work. And everybody just dropped off, dropped off, dropped off, dropped off. And then and he just went to And he stuck Be fair. Brother from another mother. Be fair. That y'all know there ain't no yeah. Remix. And and he's been here and he hasn't gone. Every, Still. There have been people that have come and there have been people that I've called brothers. There have people that, you know, have come and just left. And he's still here. He's he's even known people that he knew for years. Before know? him. Right. Before him. Dropped. And Mike is still here. So we've we've gone through a lot. He knows how I am as a person. I know who he is as a person. And yeah, we still are learning things about each other, you know. But from Sizzle Inferno to his birthday, um, to his love loss. To my love loss issues, cause child, I've had them. Okay, to me almost dying, to him losing people that he's close to, to drunken craziness. Yes. Okay. And block TV days. I remember that, right? Yes. <laughs> we we've we've seen and 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 have gone through a lot. So. Fruit punch. <laughs> Where What's the blood clot? <laughs> Yo. Uh, uh, you, you, you put a foot in her. Put the foot. <laughs> you put a foot in her, man. <laughs> you move on up. Move on up. The blood clot. Yes. Yo. To, to connect tunes. Oh my God. We need to start that back up. Oh my God. Like, we just killed our fruit punch, though. Man. Yeah, we did. Because oh fruit God. punch and um, OJ did not come back. But we know why OJ, because he was a little pothead cartoon. Hot mess. So he's somewhere, you know. Yeah. But, you know, it's... If you have a brotherhood or a sisterhood the way that we do, to to love him for all of his flaws and strengths and for him to love me for all of my flaws and strengths, because we are not perfect. He does yeah, shit that man. aggravates the hell out of me, yep. and I do shit that aggravates the hell out of him. Yep. And... He knows what aggravates the hell out of me and he don't give a fuck because he knows at the end of the day I'm still going to love him mm -hmm. and vice versa. Mm -hmm. He knows at the end of the day we still, yes. this we here, you know, and that's what a friendship is all about. It's about accepting somebody for their flaws and their strengths and being able to communicate without any hiccups, you know, um, and that's where I'm at. That was very well said. Sir. Yeah, I know. I try. So good out there. You know what I'm so to everybody that we shouted out, to all of the new people in the circle, from Wade, from uh, you know, uh, ooh ooh ooh, Vern, uh, Shamar, uh, everybody, everybody, Takuda, Tawana, Tawana, being the first lesbian that I'm really cool with, ooh. much respect because I, I'm 31 years old and I have yet to have a lesbian friend. Mm. That's weird. Um, but shout out to Takuda and Tawana. You will love Tawana down boots. I'm telling you. Right. She lives in New York, so we got to keep it gully. Really? We got to chill out. Yes, indeed. Um, kind of yeah. like, you know, the, the one from Sizzle. But, you know, oh. but different. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, cool. Yeah. Um, but hopefully y'all like this video. Uh, do you have anything to say before um. before we vacate the premises? <laughs> I don't know, man. I just, you know, like I said, I love y'all. So, you know what I'm saying? Have a good night because it's, it's like it's midnight right now. You know what I'm saying? Have a good day. Beautiful day. Wonderful day. Whether you work, 
best day off ever, you know what I'm saying? And just get out there and just do do shit that you would never see yourself do. I'm talking about positive things, you know what I'm saying? Like go go out there, you know what I'm saying? Reach out. I have to be shady real quick. No, Usually you what? yeah, I do. Oh, Usually I'm not shady. You gotta make the potatoes without peeling the skin. Right. Um don't let anybody nut inside you. Ooh. Because it's not cute. Um, and if you do do that and you don't know the person, I'm only speaking for those individuals that don't know the person. Mm. Don't let that happen. It's not a good look. It's not a healthy good look. Mm. Okay. Shout out to Christina Aguilera because her uh, new single, Your Body is Hot. I sent mm. that song to my boo because it speaks volume for me. Oh. Um, you know, that song well. is hot. <laughs> you guys need to watch The Voice because The Voice is really? getting good talent on there. Shout out to Avery because Avery did his thing. He Dizzle for it. Shizzle, he a 16 year old, and blew out everybody that they've selected in all of the groups thus far. Got, got no voice on. Yes, indeed. Oh, um, before, oh, also, um, What's it? What's it called? Revolution or something? Revolution. Uh, we watched Revolution. I think it was a cool. We saw the first, first episode, episode premiere. It was, uh, it was cool. On NBC after The Voice, so definitely check out Revolution. It was cool. I want to give a shout out to Matrell Hurst. Um, Trey. I want you to do so well in American Idol. I don't know if I'm spilling the beans as of yet, but I think you did talk about it. And if not, I'm sorry because you never told me not to. But hopefully <laughs> everything goes well for you in American yeah, Idol. I, I'm giving you all the blessings in the world. Um, I want to give a shout yes. out to Brandon Lamar, a person that was a part of the Adopted Connection cast and who premieres on The Love Game September 30th on Oxygen TV Network. You know, A Connection TV, we know people. We know people trying to be people, okay? Right. Um, so, shout out to everybody that shows us love, and shout out to everybody that knows that we are the real deal, holy to the motherfucking field, like Mona would say. And uh, we keep it gully, like this brother here would say. You know, and you know what I'm saying? if ever we talk about something that offends you, just speak to us on a, on, a, on a cool tip and just say, yo, can we wrap a taste? And we'll wrap a taste. We'll definitely spit you some chicken when you want some steak, but I mean, yes, at the end of the day, we keep the real deal. <laughs> Love, peace, chicken grease. Man. Yes, you know 100% saying? the okay. truth of all, at all times. Hey, you know what I'm saying? We get ribs with the barbecue, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's real in the streets, son. Word up. You stupid. <laughs> Love y'all, bye.